Good morning, good morning, it's Jilly Cube from the Sunshine Coast in Queensland, Australia. I'm coming to you with this little pour from these paints that have gone yucky, can you believe? Um, I did mix them with that pouring medium. They are the uh, Montmartre paints, but I've had them mixed now about 10 days in those little containers and I completely forgot all about them. And so when I come to found them yesterday, they were gluggy. So here's my experiment with gluggy paints. I just was gonna bin them, but I thought, let's just see if I can get anything. So the white is uh, freshly made, and that's the uh, Brilliant White by Montmartre with uh, the clear PVA and water mix. That's uh, in the drop-down box here. They've gone, I mixed, yeah. They've gone gluggy. So I'm just throwing it on there because it's it would have been binned anyway. Um, yeah, it was a shame. I was just experimenting um, doing it with that mix of the Montmartre pouring medium. It, it is what these colors are done with and a bit of gloss, but I got way tracked with the puppy birth and things going on and I just completely forgot about these particular little paints and I'd had them covered up and I only just discovered that so say so sorry but having fun with it having fun as usual fun with paint so we'll see what we get out of these and yes I um, did them on the mute because and doing the vi voiceover now because I had my air conditioning running and I found in my art studio and I found that the air conditioner was interfering with the um, quality it was kind of making static on my voiceover so I'm not sure if there's anything I can do about that but so hence the voiceover so I used turquoise, brilliant red, uh, light green, and it looks like there's a bit of an orangey, oh, brilliant yellow, the bright yellow. So those were the colors in this particular pour. It's just on a, a little canvas, it is a canvas, canvas t uh, pad actually, canvas tile or whatever you call them. But yeah, the white I'm adding has a little bit of flow troll in. I was going to see if I could make any lacing. So um, yeah, it just has a little bit of flow troll. And I'm going to swipe with my soft plastic file dividers. See if I can get anything out of these gluggy paint so it's just a lesson to you guys if you've got some paint that you were going to throw out see what this turns out and if it turns a mess then yeah throw them out <laughs> and if you can make something of it it's always worth a bit of a practice i believe even if paints were looking really really bad just just give them a go is what you've got to lose you can scrape it and throw them at the end clean your canvas off and reuse it so all interesting not really getting much happening at this stage it's um yeah i'm gonna put some heat with the uh, wonder wand so it's just the heat embossing wand we go and see if um, i can do anything with that no it's not bringing up anything easy whizzy let's get busy nope 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 not doing it I'm giving it a blow <laughs> I'm blowing it, see if I can create anything. Nope, nope, nope. Oh my goodness. Well, you keep trying, you know, like I said, all those spells you can scrape. Oh, I'm gonna get the, uh, I've got this straw and I'm, I'm clutching at straws at the moment. 
but I have got another little idea up my sleeve that I'm going to try in a few seconds. There's some nice colours under there, but... No, she's pouring it off. The cogs are ticking, what can I do next, what can I do next, so... Try the next stage. Uh, I'll put the thumbs down. So can you hear the uh, clogs cogs ticking in my brain there? Look at that, that that's kind of the magenta and it's gone solid. <laughs> I don't know what that mad woman thinks she's gonna get out of this, but I've got the never give up attitude. So I'll keep going with it until I can now the um, turquoise, but look how gluggy it is. It's just, you can tell with the remainder on the, um, the, the paddle, the paddle pop stick. But I'm gonna keep trying, look, I don't give up. Pushing it to its limits. Seeing what I can get. Bet you're all saying, surely to goodness, she's going to bring out that little balloon for the kiss of life. No, I'm going to try blowing it again. Goodness. Some nice colours in there, but trying to pull a miracle out, I think. It's looking nice there see from your perspective mm, quite pretty very delicate lots of people like delicate oh she's got the balloon for the kiss of life oh my goodness all else fails balloon balloon oh that one's nice very delicate. Actually, it probably would look nice dried with um, some resin over it. A nice delicate piece for those that like the delicate things in life. Mm, it's looking nice. Look at that. Look at that flower at the top there with the beautiful. I think I'm going to spoil it, aren't I? If I add more to it, I should stop there. Can you? I'm telling this woman doing the video to stop. I now I know what you feel like when you watch my videos. Just stop there. Walk away. Walk away. Quite nice watching my video and um, commenting in while I'm having a cup of coffee and a marshmallow. <laughs> Kiss of life again. I'm trying to bring something out in it. Come on, you good thing. Let's show us what you've got. Oops. Love that flower at the very top, though. No. What are you doing, Julie? Stop. That's uh, like pretty enough. It's pretty delicate night. Oh, she does a roll. Balloon roll. Oh, what are you doing? Stop. Okay. <laughs> I must be getting frustrated here, but, or I just never give up. I just keep going with it. Oh, and I've blobbed in that nice flower at the top. I'm sure I do something else to bring it back to life. I want to thank you guys for persevering with me and um, watching this one. I'm really, really trying to get something pretty out of it. And, you know, it's just a little bit of encouragement as well for me and for you guys to just keep trying because it's just a whole experiment and a learning curve, When especially when I was trying to 
make something out of those really um, paints that had just been left for too long, too long, and the you know they'd gone gluggy, if that's a word, gluggy. Trying to put some magic into this here, but okay, leave it there, Miss Jilly, leave it, leave it. My puppy dogs are all doing absolutely amazing, so they will be one week old and yeah, they're just like cruising around their whelping box, like a little rolling around now because they're all little chubbers. All right, showing you what it looks like. There you go. That's still pretty pretty. It's, you know, it's not too bad out of crappy paints. But anyway, wait for the next exciting bit because I'm going to try a bit pouring on the rest of those gluggy paints. I'm going to do a flip cup. Um, I've got the gluggy paints poured in those little shot, red shot cups, shot, shot cups besides, and I'm going to do a little flip cup on them. See if the last of the remaining paints does any good at all. I've got my Mud Mark pouring paints lined up beside me to do my next pour after this one, which you will have already seen because I put that on yesterday. Okay. None of these paints had silicone in them. I don't believe. No, they didn't. I just mix them. And I wanted to see if I could get anything out of the pouring medium and the gloss. But yeah, they're obviously just not playing nice because I've been there too long. Do you flip and lip, Jilly? There you go, it's flip and lip. Mostly white, isn't it? like a little bit more colour in that than what I had so just trying to see what I can get not really um, thrilled with those but bear with me I still keep putting the boundaries and try it Again, this looks the colours were much brighter than that, but close. Yeah, we are well so I will do it shortly. shortly. And I'm just about to show you what I've poured previous to this with those Mont Mark pouring paints. And I'll put a, li um, a link if you want to, if you haven't watched it already, I'll put the link in the um, comment, first comment, in the pinned comment on the top of this particular video. So I'm trying again no action not happy jen that was my reaction to these but wait but wait there is more probably see i did this one yesterday oh look what i did i just all i did with them was i just poured a bit of that um, native violet purple from boom gel over them and, and swiped around with the balloon look and I've got these lovely effects in them. Move the thing down Jilly so you can see the top one. There, oh no she doesn't. Okay I will have them in the photos at the end so you will see. It did end up to be quite attractive but thank you so much for joining me. If you haven't done so Please subscribe, absolutely free. So bye for now. This was the results of those particular ones. Bye. Puppy can coming up some puppy photos.
Oh, it's a video, puppy video. Oh, These delightful little creatures. Look at them. Look at them go. Like they get around like little steam engines. Today and wanted some time with me. Little no, belly, strong legs. Nice. Look at them go. Back into this brood that are all putting on weight, and they seem to be feeding fine. As you see, they're getting so big and strong already um, yeah five days old so they're doing really really well and so he's been uh, yeah. little squawkers little squawkers all oh, gorgeous so that's the puppy cam for today